be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Beat Maker Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. We're coming back to back with bangers just like this one. So today's video is gonna be about the remix effect in Logic Pro 10. I'm gonna be showing you how to use the remix effect to take your beats to the next level, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and let you check out this beat. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what, what the remix effect could do to the beat to take it to the next level. So that's the beat, um, you know, for the most part, kind of, you know, change up and do different cool things. But let's talk about what the remix effect is. So, for instance, um, first things first, you want to pick a track to put the remix effect on. Let's say we're going to put this on sample one. If I just go over here to my audio effects, scroll about midway down under multi effects, you're going to see remix effect right there. And this is our remix effect, okay? Now what remix effect can do is just think about like a DJ and think specifically on a DJ that does remixing. Um, you could do a couple of different things with when it comes to remixing things. Like number one, um, you can come over here and you know stop the record. So I can come over here on any of the tracks and stop the track, stop the record, um, make it like jitter, stop, you know, forward. Um, we have the different stutter effects right here. Um, I don't really use this one. It kind of digitalizes everything. This one kind of um, does kind of a, a, a like a delay effect. I'll have to show that to you. And then this is our filter. So I'm going to show you how to use this to take your beat to the next level. Um, first things first, we got to talk about. I'm going to give you an example. I'm just going to go ahead and play it from like this. Uh, I'm going to play it from this verse and I'm just going to play around with the remix effect so you can see what it does and then I'm going to show you how to record it. All right, so cool. So you just kind of can see what this remix effect can do, at least. Um, you know, like I said, this in live in action. In order to make sure that everything that you just did is saved and actually recorded, you're going to have to actually come to your track right here and make sure your um, inspector is up. You know what I'm saying? So you can see this view right here. And then what you want to do is right here, right above. Um, the pan tool, you're gonna to go over here where it says read. And instead of going with read, um, what you'll do is do latch. And as long as this is enabled, basically anything that you do here on this or any of these effects really, but let's just say if you're playing with the remix effect, anything you do on here is gonna record it. So you have to make sure that after you do your remix effect, you have to turn this off, okay? And then I'm, um, so basically, let's go ahead and jump into it. Basically, what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay down some different little edits. And then I'm going to show you how you can actually go in there and change the edits if you make a mistake. So let's just come on in here and we're going to go from the beginning of the track and do some cool things and do some cool things throughout the middle of the tracks as well. You got it. So, for instance, we just recorded something. Um, I'll just play it back just so you can see. All 
All right, bet. So you saw that we recorded things. You saw this pretty much automatically, um, you know, saying press the notes that I pressed on here. So what I would do if you want to like change anything that you did is push A on your keyboard. And what that's going to do is pull up your automation and you can come over here where it says latch and then just go ahead and turn that back to read. I'm going to hold down option and then scroll left or right on my keypad or my mouse to zoom in. And if you look close, you can see these different lines here and these different lines represent different automations, if you will. So under here, um, if you click on volume right there, you can go down to the different things that, are, that have been used. So like, for instance, say this tape stop effect, um, I could come over here and I can adjust this if I want. Like, for instance, say if I was just a little off, I can move this guy right here. Um, let's say if I don't want this tape stop effect right here in the middle, I could just take it out like that. And then I can just keep on going down the list here and either move it around or just completely take it out of the equation. So let's just say we like what we did right there. Remember everything is selected to or set on read now. Um, so it's not going to record anything, uh, but let's, let's go listen to it again and see, you know, if it changed up what we did. You got it. All right, cool. So pretty much um, how I would use the remix effect is just go to different sections of the song and just do lots of different cool things. So um, like, for instance, I could come over here to the verse and I could start the verse out with like a, uh, a filter EQ filter uh, rise and do certain cool things. So let me show you how to do that. Basically, I'm going to come over right over here to right where my beats going to come into the verse. I'm going to change this from read to latch. And now whatever I do, keep in mind on any of these plugins, but we're, since we're focused on the remix effect, we're going to just going to talk about whatever I do on this effect while this is on latch is going to be um, saved. Okay. So um, this is our filter. And so if I like push right here and move on up, it's going to create like a, you know, ascending filter or EQ filter on this track right here that we're on. So let's check it out. bet and so basically you saw how I use this remix effect to do different things to my beat um, if I was to take this back you would see that I you know did different things so I'm gonna turn latch off just so just in case I touch anything don't want it to record it but I'm gonna hold down a um, push a and then you can see you know anything I did is gonna be right here And see, then I can come over here and just go to different other sections. So like I can come to this section next if I wanted to and do some more stuff over here. You do have to turn on. Remember to turn the latch on and turn it off. I'm saying got some real cool effects going on just using that remix effect.
So I can come over here and do the same thing on this track only now. Only, only the track that you have selected is gonna work on. And you don't have to push record. Once latch is actually enabled, it's already recording. You just keep on going to different parts. Like I, if I wanted to, I could do a little bit more jazzy stuff at the end of the beat. And then pretty much, like I said, after you're finished, make sure you turn off latch and you can always come back in here, push A and select different things that you want to change if you do want to change everything. So pretty much that's the tutorial for the day, man. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses that you can get. Grab one of those courses. I'm telling you, it's going to definitely help you out, especially if you are a beginner. I have this code beginners course. It's going to take you through the whole fundamentals of music production. And then I also have a course on how to make beats in Logic Pro 10. Real thorough course, takes you through everything. And also we have our 100K giveaway. So on our journey to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing some giveaways at certain milestones. So make sure you get your tickets. Um, in order to get entered in, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel and also go to beatmakingbasics.com and download our 100K subscriber pack. It's only $5 to get entered to win different prizes. We got prizes like, you know, different headphones, MIDI keyboards, computers, um, a whole studio setup. You know, saying just go to the site. Um, I'm going to go over everything there on what you can win. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.